Hey fairy, where you going? I'm trying symbol of this light. I'll shine it down and make tomorrow bright. Do you hear the voices calling out your name? Oh yeah! Because I lost my voice while doing the same. Oh yeah! I'll never quit until I feel your beating heart. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The sun and moon have joined in celebration. Have you forgotten their affiliation? When you're not here to share your laughter with me I just can't find my inspiration Now it's snowing, keep going Be honest, keep smiling Cause we're approaching, the clock keeps on ticking And it never stops, hey baby, where you going? I'm trying, symbol of this light I'll shine it down and make tomorrow bright Say goodbye. Hello, this is Nago G, and welcome to the Fatal Hundred Year Quest, episode one through three review. And today we are taking a look at the first three episodes of Fate of Fatal Hundred Year Quest. And yep, these are good. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of worried with the animation quality of the episodes from the trailer and seeing four. It, I got used to it. I got used to the animation. It. There are some errors here and there, but it's good. It's good animation, in my opinion. It It's all right. It, I would say it's like any bad animation. I wouldn't say that. I, I would definitely not say that. And the first three episodes are pretty decent. They're pretty decent episodes. Uh, the first episode, I believe, they're going on the 100 year quest. They're traveling to Felsia's castle, guild hall, whatever name of that guild was that band guild actually did we ever get a name for that guild <laughs> so probably boring down in the comments such down below but it fell as guild and signs team not to a contract and then they go on a hundred year quest looking for mochophobia and meanwhile and fatal meanwhile and uh, magnolia and the fatal guild all they are basically discovering the fairy tale guild. Basically, the fairy tale guild hall is being discovered. It has been infiltrated by Toka the White Mage, which we don't know that much about. All we know is that Jalal somehow knows that Toka's the White Mage. I don't know that much. I, well, I do know a little bit more about Toka because I read the manga, but I ain't gonna get into spoilers about the manga, so yeah. <laughs> I do know who she is. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it... Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything about the manga. And yeah. All I can say right now is that the first three episodes get through the first of them chapters of the Fanka. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say anything further. Just know that the first three episodes takes the first seven chapters of the manga. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So if that makes sense, that means I'm guessing that's 11. That's four episodes on the app. 11 chapters from the manga. 
or 12, 11 or 12 chapters from the manga. I'm guessing these episodes are going to be like three to four chapters each, depending on where they can stop and where they can put them in. Cliffhanger, yeah. I'm, that's what I'm guessing each episode is going to be. And episode two, speaking of episodes, episode two leads off with um, Team Natsu going to a town that has fish for humans. Human fish people, whoever they are, we don't know who they are yet. I I know who they are, but I can't spoil it. So yeah, <laughs> let's just say human fish people, human fish people <laughs> for now. And basically, they go on shenanigans for a little bit, and then they get chased by the human fish people into a sewer, and then they become the human, and then Team Matsu becomes a human fish temple, and when he becomes a jellyfish. That's I think he was saying about the scene <laughs> when he has a giant fish. Yeah, that's cute. Everybody else is fish. Everybody else is a fish, and Wendy is like a human, and Wendy is like a giant fish. That's just cute. <laughs> yeah, I find that funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I I just find that funny that Wendy is was talking about jellyfish, and then she became a jellyfish. <laughs> that's that's funny. <laughs> And then um, I believe Tinmatsu. I believe Tinmatsu goes split up, and they look around, and they see that I don't know what Urza went through all this. Actually, what was she doing all this? Because Gray is talking to a fish. Urza is somewhere. Wendy is somewhere. When Lucy, Natsu, and Happy are together, so where is Wendy? Carla and Urza do this. I, I'm not sure if I was just not paying attention or what. But were they just with Grey? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I mean, but anyway, they find Kaya, Kaya, Via. That's what I'm going to call from now on because I do not know how to pronounce. So tons for server name for me. Via. And her name is Kiria, Kara, Kiria, Kiria, Kara. I'm just gonna call, like I said, I'm gonna call her via the Blade Dragon Slayer. That's what I'm calling her because I do not know how to pronounce her tongue for server name. And and then there's Metal, Mad Mole. And his name is Mammal. That's his name. Mad Mole. Yeah, Mad Mole. The armor dragon slayer, and then they intervene with Natsu, and then the next episode, and then by the end of the episode, Mercophobia appears, and that episode is pretty good. The first two episodes are pretty good. I really enjoyed this first two episodes, and then the third episode is easily the best one out of these first three episodes because we get more lore about Mercophobia. Lore. We get to learn that he's been helping people throughout. Centuries, and he's also killed a bunch of people throughout the centuries. So he's not tired, he's not good, he's not bad, he's an anti hero. So, yay! But he leads more to the good side because he did take in a girl from a shipwreck. So, yeah, that kind of makes him a good guy if we take in a girl and face her. Just saying. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty interesting. And I really enjoy these episodes of Fairy Tale. Yeah, these episodes are amazing. <sighs> All I can say is that I'm expecting more of, of these episodes. I, I'm expecting more lore dump in these episodes. And I can't wait for the next episode. And the episode ends off with um Fatal Team Natsu fighting against Scorion, Manmo, and Ria. I know her name is Korea or Kai or Kai Kai. But I'm just gonna call it Ria because I do not know how to pronounce her name for the life of me. Sorry for people for Getting mad. Sorry if I tell fans for getting mad at me for me not be able to pronounce the name. 
but yeah. Fights Sinatsu and beats Oza in a fight by Megino. Shy. Making her seem like a pet. A shy pet. I'm not even going to question it. <laughs> My Jibajit Bajaj was like, huh. Um, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Defeats her, and then, uh, then the Ash Skolian turns um, Natsu into, well... Turns him into dust. Yep. Turns him into dust. Turns gray into dust. And Natsu just gets shipped. He gets shipped. <laughs> Did you get it? Because he got on a ship and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get it? You get it? Get it? Did you get it? <laughs> Or you can say he got shipwrecked because he got wrecked and he's on a ship. Eh? Okay, it's not funny to explain it, but <laughs> yeah, he gets shipwrecked. Okay, I'll stop. But by a mammal. And gets motion sickness, like all dragon slayers. And apparently, Mad Mo doesn't get motion sickness because he's one of those kind of dragon slayers. I think the only dragon slayer who gets motion sickness in, all, in the guild is Suzuki. Suzuku, his that guy, because I think that's the only one who gets motion sickness. I believe. So yeah, I really enjoyed these moments in Fairy Tale because yeah. And then the QR beats Lucy, Wendy, and Color and Happy. I enjoyed all these moments in Fairy Tale. The I enjoyed these three episodes of Fairy Tale. So, the Fairy Tale Hundred Year Quest. These episodes are really good, and I can't wait to see more of these. How the episodes are gonna be. Not really sure how they're going to do the series. I think they're just going to stop at the Selene arc. To be honest. <laughs> so I assume the Selene arc ends. Wherever that Selene arc ends. I'm assuming that's where they're going to end it. And then just going to leave it on a cliffhanger. And then we're going to wait for the manga to finish. And then they'll continue making the series. I honestly don't know what they're going to do with the Fate of 100 Year Quest. How they're going to adapt it because the manga is still going as of now. It is new. It's, it is in the last arc of the manga, but it's still going. <laughs> and to be honest, in the, in the Ake Meow arc is probably one of the best arcs in Fate of 100 Year Quest just because of how insane it is. Yeah, it took Edmio to save. It took Edmio to save Fairy Tale Honey Request. I like it. Yeah, it took Edmio to save a hundred year quest. Because why not? Also, aren't they brilliant? Yet? Also, I really enjoy these episodes. These episodes are amazing. Not much I can say else. These episodes are amazing. I love them. Most well, because I have nostalgia bait for what, watching the original Fairy Tale show like three times. Yeah, that's no joke. I watched that show like three times. <laughs> yep. I watched 320. Well, technically my first two times, but the first 277 episodes. That was before Final Season came out. But that's not true. Um, I did watch the, f the first time I watched it. It was only the first 277 episodes. And then the second time I watched it, I watched 328 episodes. And the third time I watched it, I watched 328 episodes. So I've seen the show like three times. Yeah. 
so yeah, I really enjoyed this show. It's really good. I can't wait to see what Fato Wandry Quest goes to the next few episodes, which I will be viewing in a few weeks. So look forward to that. But with that said, this is not going to sign off. And remember, stay big, Fato fans. Uh, bye.